Ah, uh, people like you belong in a cage. Well, people like you belong dead. So, there you go. All right, we are back in Kenshi with Azagami and his Desert Gamble crew. Now, in the last episode, or in the beginning of the last episode, I had noted that I was experiencing some technical issues and some crashing and whatnot, but in the intervening week, I think I've sorted all that out, knock on wood. Uh, hopefully, I won't be having problems in the near term, at least. However, in getting that sorted out, uh, I did have to import my save one more time, so we will have to reintroduce ourselves to the locals and get shaken down and extorted for money <laughs> one more time. So we'll have that to look forward to. But good with the bad, since I had to import the save anyway, I took the opportunity to grab a shopping mod, which will uh, seek to address some of the issues with the base game shopping, uh, which is apparently not the most robust system in the game and might leave a little bit to be desired. The mod itself will uh, make it so that NPCs will buy more types of goods and that they will um, have money throughout the game instead of running out of money. The mod description indicated that that was one of the problems with uh, the base game shopping system, among other things that it seems to touch on. Um, didn't look up too much about the shopping system in general, base game or otherwise, because I like to be surprised by that stuff um, and just kind of experience it as it comes. I mean, hence my being about 300 hours in this game and just learning that you can open up your base to the public and actually put in a shop counter and people will shop. So very ecstatic about that. Can't wait to see how that unfolds because I was going to fill this whole base with market stalls, even if they didn't function, just so that it looked like a commercial hub. Um, but now we'll actually have people coming and buying things. Even if they spend six bucks, I'm going to be freaking ecstatic. So in getting set up and ready for this episode and doing some of the chores off screen, as I call them, I took down the uh, building that was here, emptied it out, took it down, straightened out the base so it's more squared off to the road. Uh, and we built a little shop. So now we've got a little a little market. And inside the market, I built it out in the style of the vanilla game, so it looks nice and immersive. They'll come in and do some shopping. And I've got Sawayashiki here running uh, the shop. He's set up as the shopkeeper. This is completely unnecessary. People will come buy stuff, even if you just have a shop counter. But that kind of bummed me out. It's a little, I don't know. It seems like this should be a necessity. There should be a worker on this counter. So we've got Sawayashiki standing on a little guard mat, and he'll stand there. That does take him out of rotation, but I'm way more interested in the immersion of it than I am actually the, the full function of it. We've got the shop filled with stuff. I think we've got some, uh, did we? No, I didn't. I thought I had some backup stuff. We may have to send him around to collect up all our sellable. Wait, there we go. What are you doing? Sawayashiki, put that in there. I also set up the security and administrative building uh, so it's ready to take on more prisoners and the like. Uh, and we're pretty much ready to jump right in. Uh, we've got a whole ton of shopping to do. So we're going to do, well, I'll probably see if we can get the scout team out to just about every city in the Great Desert. I don't know if we'll get to all of it today, but we're going we're gonna to take the scout team around because I would like to get blueprints galore. I definitely want more furniture and things to start making the places that look like they should be inhabited look inhabitable. If this works out and people actually start shopping here and I'm loving the fact that it looks a little fleshed out, I'll probably keep making this look lived in and real. And I think we might even possibly try to build a tavern because, you know, I can just put booze in the tav tavern shop counter and people will come by that. I hope. We'll see. Even if they don't, I'm really starting to like the idea of this being uh, a public outpost for people to come mill about and hang out in. So, but to do that, I need more furniture, uh, and there's some other blueprints we need as well. Additionally, I installed another mod that is more of a, an early game mod. We're probably not going to see a whole ton of it, but it's a mod that I found very interesting and I can't believe I had not seen before. Uh, I think it's called Interactive World, and it adds um, survival crafting elements that seem to be early game focused. Principally, what it does is, uh, much like you have iron nodes and copper nodes, it makes... Let me see, what do we got here? Yeah, it makes some trees into wood nodes. Uh, so you can collect wood from trees, and then with the wood from the trees, you can craft things that you would use in the early game to make tents and campsites and all that kind of stuff. I have another camping mod, but you pretty much just buy camping supplies and then build a ton of stuff, which is fine. But this seems to be more in line with the, the game spirit in general, where you kind of have to work for the things that you're trying to do. It also, additionally, adds something that I absolutely love. We got someone coming in. Outlaw Swordsman. It adds... Uh, things out into the world that can also be interacted with. One of the things that always kind of bum me out about this game is like, I can make a cactus farm and farm cactus, but you never just run into cactus. Like, you run into things that look like cactus, but you can't interact with it in any way. I don't know if that's 
100% by design from the developer or just a matter of allocating resources and not really having a, a focus and time and resource to flesh out things like interacting with things you find out in the world. But there's so much cool stuff out here and it just kind of is, especially when you get out into the weirder and more alien places, you can't really do anything with them. And so this adds a few things and changes a few things in the world. Like here in the desert, we have Brock flowers and I could come out and harvest these. And much like I said, this is nothing comes for free. You have to spend time harvesting these. You don't get to just walk up to them and pick stuff off of them. So it's kind of interesting. The reason I have installed it, though, is it will immediately let me research um, prisoner poles, which I still am toying with the idea. I know I keep saying I'm going to throw prisoner poles out here and let it be a lesson to people. I'm going to back pocket that. I still think I want to do it, but I, I, I think we need to be a little tougher <laughs> before I can do it. I don't know for certain, but I have a sneaky suspicion that, like, if we got a slave raid come through from the slave traders and I defeated them all and then put them on pikes out here, here, that if slave traders who were just going to leave me alone came through and saw all these people, I would be guaranteed to get a raid if there was like a bunch of slave traders just dying out here. So I might, I don't know, we're going to get it. We're going to research it in my back pocket. I might, maybe I'll test it out with like uh, starving vagrants or something and see what they do. Anyway, well, I have yammered on enough. Let's head right out to Stoat with the team. All right, so I should get inside there. Don't run away. We are going to grab more stuff to sell. Now, let's see how the scout team's doing. I really should be paying attention to them. I also let them run. Ah, uh, they're kind of going an okay way. Yeah, I really should be paying attention to them because my experience has been... I've had to import saves uh, about four or five times in this series. And my experience has been that upon importing a save, uh, the world is incredibly populated. Like, it's just... Uh, somebody is... Are we just seeing that fighting and running, or is somebody coming after us? Yeah, we're just seeing the fighting. All right. All right. I would like to expand this farm one more time. An extra large cactus farm. Oh, it looks like Aquino is running out to build, so that's good. Uh, and we do not have wheat yet. And we won't probably for a while, because we are deep in wheat production. We might buy some wheat. We're going to be doing a lot of purchasing. Yeah, so we're going to pick up uh, fabric and probably some cotton. Uh, I've got a ton of leather, so I'm not really worried about that. But we're going to start. We've got, um, what do we got? We got Odie now working on uh, clothing and armor production. And I'd like to start getting the uh, operation, security, labor, and farming teams all in a uniform of sorts if I can. Start working towards that direction. We got scout team all in assassin's rags. And I'd like each of the other squads to have their own uniform, so to speak. And we'll see what that ends up being. All right, right into the trader's shop. Cactus farm construction complete, and we got a trader's guild visit. That's actually really good to see, too, because that first event is a friggin' wild card. <laughs> it's like, is it going to be a slave raid, a ninja visit? All right, take a look around, customer. Let's trade. What do you got? Do I, did I bring anything to sell you? I don't think so. We should have grabbed some stuff, huh? Yeah, well. Muren, show me your goods. Okay. Advanced outpost? I can't learn that yet. I need medium... Oh my gosh, $15,000. We'll hold off on that. Uh, basic furniture? I know that already. Mm. Oh, survival guide. That's the one we need. Random furniture. Awesome. Oh, cool. Interior walls, display stands... An outhouse? Nice. <laughs> Somebody's attacking. Starving vagrants. Alright, starving vagrants. Meet your doom. Can you guys stop with the... Where are you? Are you up here trying to... Stop trying to... Where are you going? You! Attack this person. Don't get hit. And does anybody want to help? Thank you. Nice. <laughs> How did you block that? Beautiful. Who fell? Stupid ass starving vagrants. Nice. Man, you guys really like this building, huh? Alright, well, whatever. More starving vagrants running in. What are you doing? Zhang. Did you just... Beautiful. 
Man, you guys are... dumb. I would give you food. You could have come shopping. I mean, I guess if you're starving, you have no money. <laughs> well, keep it rolling, fellas. You know what to do. Clear out the base. Okay, let's see. Where is this Trader's Guild? Oh, they're on their way. They're far ways out, though. Come shop at my store. Don't mind the blood. We'll kick this guy out of the way. Don't worry, you come on inside. I need- I'm gonna put that rug right here. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be very inviting. <laughs> oh, you know what else? What do we got here? We got, um... Why don't you open that up? Not you, Onuma. Swayashiki. Pop that open. And let's see... How does this work? Oh, it doesn't actually display them? Well, that's stupid. That's the biggest bummer I've ever seen in my life. I was hoping it would show them here. What a bummer. <laughs> Alright, so why she could come get that back. Alright, Trader's Guild visit has arrived at Desert Campbell and Norimoto. <laughs> it's on the offensive. I love it. Good job, Norimoto. Greetings, good sirs. Alright, we'll talk to you. We definitely have a trading outpost, so I don't even care this time around. Alright, the TG Diplomat says, Greetings, sir. I see you have founded a little outpost here. Without a permit, I might add. The Traders Guild regulates all activity and all merchants' fees must be paid forward. Surely you are aware that you've been within Traders Guild territory. I mean, I'm in United Cities territory, but whatever. Sorry, I was not aware of that. Let's see what he has to say. If you're trading within Traders Guild territory, I'm afraid you need to register for a membership with the Territorial Division. Either you can speak with Yamdu at Lord Longan's headquarters and hang for a payment uh, for a permanent membership, or you can pay myself via a weekly fee of 4,000 cats. Uh, as a member of the Traders Guild, this will entitle you to military protection, uh, and patrols will be sent out daily. That is fucking bullshit. You never do. Uh, and if I don't pay? In the case of non-payment, you'll be unable to benefit from our exclusive Merchant Bronze Member Protection Service. <laughs> a modest hub such as yours will be sure to attract much unwanted attention. It would be a shame to see such accidents be <laughs> befall your little party here. Alright, fuck, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Alright. We'll pay. We're, we're, we're gonna make a trading outpost. I don't- I don't need them coming down upon me. Excellent! A collection agent will visit you periodically. Please make sure you keep the funds available in order to keep up payments. So a week in Kenshi is three days. That's- that's good to know. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> now we know. Now we know for sure. Alright, you guys just hang out in the middle of town. I don't give a shit. Do what you gotta do. Who? Oh shit. Another starving vagrant raid. Can you guys stop ransacking town? <laughs> none of you have, none of you ever have bounties. And you just kind of meet your death. Whatever. Awesome, and Thinley's working on healing them. God damn it, man. I fucking love when this game is firing on all cylinders. When everything's working the way it's supposed to, fantastic. Norimoto, what is your problem? <laughs> Who are you aimed at? What are you doing? Are you in there? Are you- Ah, oh, there you go. Good job, Norimoto. I'm proud of you. You saw something I didn't even notice. What else? We got more in there? Oh, we do. A stain. That's all you are now. I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, shit. What do we got going on here? Manhunters! God damn. So, one of the things I noticed, I don't think I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, at some point, I don't know when, uh, we've kicked over with the Manhunters to negative 30, and I think at that point they're just hostile on site. I did all that work trying to get the Slave Hunters to hate us, and they don't give a shit. At all. They don't even care. But Manhunters are gonna be on site, so... We're gonna get a lot of good, uh, experience out of these guys. They're nice and low level, so... That's good. They've got a ton of gear. I'm super not worried about it. He's young, you're gonna have to stay in bed. We may have to, like, figure something out for you, He's young. <laughs> you need better protection. Uh, all right. Let's hit these guys up. Yeah, so they're not even attacking yet, but they're hostile already. You can say they want- they will. As soon as they catch wind, which is such a bummer, because they used to just walk through town, but... Whatever. I mean, fuck these guys. Fuck them to death. These guys are assholes, and they enslave people. I'm really on my last fucking nerve with slave hunters and slavers in general. Ah, uh, people like you belong in a cage. Well, people like you belong dead. So, there you go. Have at it, fellas. Beautiful. 
Very nice. And when this finishes, we'll, uh... Man, where is everybody? Come on, guys. Where's operations? Nah, you guys are... Nah, you're all busy. Alright, good. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to. Beautiful. When this finishes, we should be, uh... Should be just in time for the scout team to finish their shopping trip. Ah, uh, yes. Doing wonderfully. Yes, take him down. Oh, there's more. Who is it? Oh, another one. I think we just got hit with a harpoon. <laughs> a turret. So, Ayashiki, why don't you come out and uh, grab some stuff for the uh, for the shop? Nope, oh, security's getting attacked again. I bet somebody popped up. We'll just take a look at him. Yep. Oh, no. An outlaw swordsman captain. That is new. Rebel farmers. Huh. Oh, there's the guy. There's the guy. Take down that guy. Yeah, don't let him get so I shiki. I'm gonna hang out with these guys real quick, because we're gonna grab him and put him in a cage. Hold on. Immediately. Zhang, you're too hurt to deal with this, so why don't you pick this guy up? And why don't you put him in that cage? Nice. $3,000 bounty. I love it. Alright, I think that's everything we needed from here. Uh, we've been to every store, we went into the bar, we bought all the meat, we got a bunch of blueprints. Uh, let's get the fudge out of here. Slave raid? Ugh. Oh, that's the worst one. We've dealt with this before and it is not good. It's not great. Azumi, get up here. I don't think you did what you were supposed to do. I think it's because of where he is. Wait, 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 Azumi. I don't have a med kit. Holy shit, how did that happen? Alright, Ikaria, do you have a med kit? Oh my god. We'll have to do some trading when you get back. Does nobody in this base have a med kit? You've got one, you've got four, you've got teeth. How close is the slave raid? Mm, it's fine. You guys can go fuck yourselves. Oh my god. Really, seriously. People like you belong in a cage. Dude, are you stupid? You're gonna die out here. And I hope it happens. Stupid manhunters. Keep getting up. Keep it up. How much more do you not like me? 31. <laughs> hey, we didn't attack you sight unseen. This is gonna get real dicey out here real quick. <laughs> Those manhunters are ever present. Alright everybody, get inside. Who is this? That's a traitor. Of some kind. Hopefully you're coming to visit. You could purchase things. I kind of want to close the gates, friend. So maybe get inside fast? <laughs> Alright, until the slave raid gets here, we're gonna have to just keep on keeping on. As if everything is just fine. Hijong, why don't you go ahead and get some sleep whilst you can. Anybody else in desperate need? Hisamora. Oh, God, thinly. We are not really ready for this, huh? I would have bought mercenaries! Oh, this game's got impeccable fucking timing. Ah, here we go. Here it comes. What happens if we close this gate? What happens? Nothing? They just stand there like idiots? They try to run around to this side? Guess what? Close that gate. <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> what do they do? They're not doing anything. They're just following the leader. Can I wait this out? Are they gonna starve us out? <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Dude, that would be fantastic if that's how the game worked. So they just like literally starve us out. I don't give a shit about your slave raid. Missing information. One of you guys is missing information. That's disconcerting. We got everybody lined up. I don't want to- I don't want them sitting out here while I'm waiting to take in trade goods and stuff, so... We're gonna open the gates. 
Okay. Are you gonna do it? What are you doing? What in the world are you... What are you doing? What is happening? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's open this gate, too. I think I just ruined their AI. Who is this? Oh, he's some Mora. How did you get outside? Going to take out bodies. Whoops. See, this is what happens. This is what happens. Alright, whatever. Well, one of them's inside already. I love how that happens. Well, you're stuck up there forever, pal. Good luck with life. <laughs> Alright, can you turn hostile so I can deal with you? Uh, slave trade has arrived. It's quite the town you got here. I want him healthy for the mines. Alright, good. Attack target. And let's see what happens. I really wanted to take him on the other side, but whatever. We we're kind of ready for that. <laughs> Bastards. I opened the gate for you. Alright, this shouldn't be too much of a problem, because the team... Yeah, out, uh, we're pretty pretty well matched. Let's make sure you guys, where are you? You're out in a distance, that's good. You're at the distance, at a distance, I love it. I'm just gonna double check on everybody, make sure they're doing the right things. Alright, good. I think we're doing okay. We should probably let them come inside. Jeez Louise. Uh, are you guys out here? You are. Mercurio, you're already down? How did you manage that? Look at you! How did you manage that? <laughs> Alright, farming. Everybody that needs to be involved in this is involved in this. That's good. Alright. Let's see what happens. Fight at the friggin' gates. Not what I was hoping for. Probably should've let him come further inside. That's alright. There's as much green as there is red. I'm happy with it. Yes, cut them down. Cut them down! Like the dogs they are! Yes! This is what I think of your slave raid. Raid this! No! Teaspoon fell. <laughs> you guys know what you're doing. You're doing a good job. Look at that. The archers come in to get a better line of sight. I love it. He's young. You're the fucking man. Yes. Cut them down. Run them down like dogs. Where's the boss? No, this none of this is a fucking... Mm, none of this is a crime. Fucking... Mm. <laughs> Where's your boss? I kill your boss. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Alright, hilariously, I jinxed myself. I said the game hasn't crashed in a week, and it crashed as soon as we completed the slave raid, so I don't know how much I have- I don't know where or how I'm gonna cut this together, because the last autosave I have is right in the middle of the slave raid, so we're just gonna have to take the tail-ass end of the slave raid again and hope it works out just the same. Uh, I'm not exactly sure at what point this is in the raid, but it looks like it's, um, after Mercurio took a dive and Emmett was still asleep, so. Probably about the middle. We'll let him run through it. Oh, nice. Love it. Load in just in time to see a bunch of red. Let's make sure everybody's fighting. Azumi goes down. Hisamura goes down. Oh, they're doing better this time. They're doing a good deal better. <laughs> Now we're coming together. We're gonna lose more people this time, but... Alright, you guys got this. You got it. You're doing it. You're pulling it together. Oh, yes. Cut them down. Come to Steve's rescue, Steve. <laughs> yes, please, help Steve. Steve's getting a, a walloping. We've defeated them! Leave none alive! Take them all! None shall walk away this day. Oh, nice, and a shopping visit. I like this. Okay. A uh, good reload. Mercurio, you missed everything. Alright, let's get these guys- actually, I want to fix these squads real quick. I want to put security behind Scout so I can select them easy. Uh, alright. We need... 
to loot these guys in case they pop back up. So let's start doing that. Fucking slavers. Oh, man. I'm gonna go fucking raid that slave camp. We need more people. We gotta- we need recruits. We need lots of recruits. And we're gonna go mess up people's days. That's coming. That's coming soon. Alright, the team's all kinds of asleep. We have a... uh-oh. Guess like pe guess people are popping up. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, what the hell are you doing? That's my question. Alright everybody, let's get at it. I must be mad. Yes, you must be! Do you yield? Yes, beat him into a corner. Beat him into a damn corner. I'm done with you guys. Loot this guy. We don't need them having any protection on them. Alright, I probably cut a bunch of that out, but we defeated the slave raid. Uh, stripped them of all their gear, and I've run into a bug where I can no longer assign the job throw out of town uh, appropriately, which seems to be a known bug. Um, when I try to throw people out of town, I get the throw out specific person, and then they just pick up a corpse and stand there. Once this person's thrown out, that's it. Like if we let her go, she'll do just that, and we'll let her do that in a second. Uh, but while figuring that out, our shopping trip arrived, and they are spending like crazy! I am so happy to see this, we're gonna let that go. Of course, he's standing, he's so excited, he's standing on the counter. Look at that. And they came in and they bought a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's more people shopping! Yeah, that's right! Buy stuff! I love it. Why did one of you have $3,000 and the rest of you share an inventory? Oh, okay, it's two groups, and they do indeed share an inventory. Alright, awesome! Whatever, they came and shopped, they bought a bunch of stuff. What did they buy? Probably claws. I have so many claws. <laughs> Alright. Dude, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Alright. Okay. Well, I have one grandfathered in. Hisamora has a big job on her shoulders. I was trying to offload some of the work. She's the only one who currently has the right job throwing out no colon. Anybody else I assign it to gets uh, throwing out colon specific person and then they stop immediately. Once they've done that, so. Oh well, Hisamori, you've got a huge job on your shoulders. That's kind of a bummer, because it's going to leave the base flooded with people. Um, but that really is that, huh? And Takiyasu, can you come uh, first aid this guy so he doesn't die? We're going to take him in. We've gotten slave raided, so that's not going to happen for a little while, I hope. Um, so I think we're going to go to another town. We'll take a trip out to another town. We'll drop off this bounty that we have, this $3,000 bounty. Yeah, we'll take, uh, we'll take the team out somewhere new. Oh, someone's awake. Uh, we'll take the team out somewhere new. I suppose... I mean, we haven't been to Shobatai in a while, and we're not gonna get a slave raid, so I don't mind the long run, so I think we'll do that. We'll head out to Shobatai, see what's going on out there, do some of the shopping we wanna do, maybe recruit somebody. Alright, wow, we made it. We came through the slave raid, got everybody out, experienced a bummer of a bug, but whatever. These guys are dying in the desert. We got a shopping trip, I'm so happy about that. We're still gonna take it out to Shobatai, that'll probably be the last thing we do for this episode. But we're just waiting for... Um... Ooh, is that the Raider Camp getting wiped out? Is this Raider's Camp 78? Nope, that is, uh, a bunch of dogs. Uh, if they win, we'll go get this, uh... This meat. They're gonna win. Oh, a pack beast fell. Okay, we're gonna- wow, both of them fell. We're gonna keep a close eye on this. Let's get, uh, let's get out here. I would like to loot these pack beasts. We shall see, if I can. Who's gonna win? Wolves are very strong. And they won. Now, if that wolf moves on... I'm coming to loot this pack beast before I'm doing anything else. As long as no one sees me. Okay. What do we got? We got fabric. Nice. Oh, fuck. We're still filled with shit. Bummer. Vivi, can you grab the meat off this one before we get ourselves into some trouble? We're gonna... cut our... hedge our bets here. Cut our losses. Whatever. Try to not get ourselves into some trouble. Let's get everybody over here. No one saw that, so I think we're good. The pack beasts are dead, so be it. Alright. I think Nakama's gonna have to be good enough. Get up. We got stuff to do. We have made some enemies. 
sand ninjas still don't like us. The slave traders are starting to not like us. That's lovely. <laughs> Traders Guild likes us just every little tiny bit. All right. We can get them up to 30, maybe. All right, let's take the team out to Shobatai. Maybe we'll get them there. Uh, who's, who's inbound? Who the hell are you? Soren's just a robot running around. Well, let's stop and talk to Soren real quick. Uh, you don't need to be on sprint. Soren, we want to talk to you. Are you just a straight-up tech hunter? You got nothing to say. Just a, a tech hunter chilling. We're going to try again. Nothing. All right. Weird. Where's that tech hunter? People like you belong in a cage. Go shopping! Stop in here! Come look at our wares! Who... Who are you talking to? Can both of you guys... Go take care of this idiot? Just let him know what's up. Man, you know you don't know what you're missing out on. I've got wares. If you've got the coin, don't you want to buy stuff? I've got a jacket just like that. It's really nice. You would love it. I guarantee it. Sand Ninja visit on the way. All right, this is going to be interesting, too, because this is one of the kind of negative relationships. When we've run into Sand Ninjas in the wild, they've just attacked us. That happened in the last episode. But we're about to pay them protection payment, and my only hope is that I don't pay them protection payment, and then they immediately attack us. Bow down before your lordship, scum. I shouldn't have gotten in your way. Forgive me, your lordship. Uh, there's a lordship in there. That should be interesting. <laughs> I don't know, have we been in here? Man, I know I've been to this town before playing the game, but I don't know if this team has come in here. Oh, we've got a trade goods store. All right, hit it up. Made it to Shobatai. Love it. Let's get blueprints galore. We did not get shaken down at the door. That's fantastic. Take a look around. I will. Mia Yoshi. We are gonna get a big old bag for Nakama and a big old bag for Hiramatsu. Any other big old bags? No. Okay. Into the two bars. Where's the first one? We want recruits. Spare a little food. You're on the toilet. No operations, just getting attacked. Well, so why is Shiki's getting attacked by somebody? Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of people in here. Rebel farmers. Well, you know what comes with rebel farmers? Um, bounties off the captain. Alright, well, we'll let that play out on its own. Just gonna keep an eye. See if I can find that captain. They usually have that uh, bucket hat on. Maybe these guys just attacked on their own. Without leadership. Oh shit, farming's getting attacked. That can't be good. Who's attacking farming? Dima, get down here. Attack that target. Tua, Valerie, and Inigo, you run. Oh, there you are. There you are. Ah, yes. All right, you guys have this wall in here. It looks like farming's okay, too. Thinly. Pick this guy up. Put him into... a cage. Put him into a different cage, or put him in that cage. There. Sand Ninja Visit has arrived. All right. My goodness. Toshiki. Welcome, Desert. We're your local ninja welcoming group. I'll talk to you. Come on out, Toshiki. Big money on them not attacking us. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. The sand ninjas run everything that's off the table in the desert, if you catch my drift. We're here to offer you a deal, one you probably need. All right, how much is this deal gonna cost us? A settlement of this stature would normally come to about $4,000, but considering your friendship with the shinobi, we can knock it down to $2,000. All right, whatever. I want to see if this increases our relationship with them. You'll be hearing from us if there's any bother. Just remember we don't touch the tax man, yeah? Sand ninjas. No, they still don't like us. They're like a special sand ninja, though. Whatever. Alright, whatever. Welcome to slavery. Swaishiki, put that guy down. Welcome this guy to slavery. Now go back. And let's see what the, uh... The nomads have to say. Saison. Don't mind my limp. 
You've got animals for sale. What do you got? You got 85,000 bucks and you buy nothing. I should buy a wolf. How much is a wolf? What's the point of them having a gender if I can't breed them? Just make it wolf. We'll buy a golden wolf. Done. And you are going on to the security squad. Did I just like buy a loose bone dog from the desert? <laughs> All right. Whatever. This is my base, right? Yeah, he literally just sold us a loose bone dog. <laughs> All right. This bar is a little more like it. There's uh, still kind of nobody in here. Shinobi thieves, whatever. You might talk to the Adventurer's Guild. I don't know if that's a mod, but they'll send people to your house. Tamba. You got a lot of radiance. How exotic. What's it do? Let me see. Let's talk to Tamba. Uh, I was always told I'd never make it if I couldn't handle myself with a sword. Well, I'm still alive, aren't I? Melting the hearts of my enemies with my cooking one rice bowl at a time. We've already got to cook. How much are you charging? 6,000 bucks? Not interested. Oh, who's this? Desiree. Let's see what you got to say. You gonna buy me a drink or you gonna stand there gawping at me? Sure, have a drink. Gulp. <laughs> All right. I had a rough encounter with the Bugmaster this week. Ever heard of him? Uh, no, who's the Bugmaster? I mean, the Waki talks about him a bit, I think. He's not someone you want to come across, trust me. Some say he was abandoned as a kid and raised by bugs. The guy practically has an army of giant insects under his control. Communicates with them. Speaks their language. Go on. The guy's a madman. Thinks he's a bloody bug or something. Who knows why he hates humans so much? Half my squadron was slaughtered by him. It was a bloodbath. That's terrible. Nothing a good amount of grog won't fix. And that's that, huh? Alright, let's talk to the adventurer headhunter. You need some recruits? What's your price? Laughs, you're mistaken. I'm from the Adventurer's Guild. I'm offering you my service, which is to find recruits for you. Where do you find the recruits anyway? These are desperate times, my friend. Dozen of desperate peasants, drifters, and ronins sign up with us every day. And we have a long list of clients, slavers, tech hunters, even the big guys like the Holy Nation of the United Cities need a quick boost to fresh recruits uh, to their war effort from time to time. And what makes your recruits special? Nothing, really. They're not given special training or anything, but the moment these people came to us, uh, they signed the rights of neutrality. We promised them shelter and food, and in return, they must fully let go of the past and work with whomever their employers may be. The pact is transferred to the employer, too. Should you employ them... They will not hold any grudge against you, even if you killed their parents. But you are responsible to provide them with food and a roof to sleep under. And what if I don't? Well then, let's just say you'll find it much harder to get more recruits. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, you still need my service? Yes. All right, then any particular type of recruits you're looking for? Oh, you can't send me Scorchlanders specifically? That would be interesting to get skeletons. Let's, uh, let's get some humans. All right, 5,000 bucks. Let's have him elaborate and see what happens. No problem. You pay us a standard headhunting fee, and we will send the folks that are looking for a job to your base. And yes, you will still have to talk to and pay the folks. Uh, you're just paying for my headhunting service. Still interested? All right, so he'll send humans to me, and then I'd have to talk to them and pay them. Fuck it. Let's do it. Here's 5,000 bucks. All right, I'll form my men. It should not take too long for your crew to arrive. Nice doing business with you, and I just want to see if there's a... Uh... Well, he's going to send people to us, so... There we go. All right, well, I think that's a good spot to leave it. We managed to survive the slave raid, and we got our shop up and running, and it's actually working. People are buying stuff. I am friggin' ecstatic about that. When we come back, uh, we're going to continue with the scout team, sending them out to find blueprints and start getting some of the stuff we need to expand the base. We'll probably head out to the rest of the towns in the United Cities and maybe even take it south uh, to some of those towns that I wanted to visit. Uh, but we'll do that stuff in the next episode, so subscribe for more Kenshi, and I'll see you next time.